Tangled by Sharon Powers. Fade in. Exterior, Mexican Ocean, day. A stunning blue and green ocean. Superimpose, coast to Mexico. Interior, Avon, day. Kyle Hamilton, 30s, charismatic, capable, leans over the side of the functional Avon and grabs another portion of the lethal gill net. He pulls it up hard. Can you reach it? I almost have the tail. Toshihira, 20s, traditional, a gentle soul, in a wetsuit, grapples with the net and the entangled dolphin. Louise Paris, 20s, quirky, bookish, hopeless romantic, reaches down with her clippers and snaps the lines, freeing the dolphin. Got it. The dolphin kicks and splashes, then makes a chattering sound before they release it. The three smile and laugh as they watch the dolphin join its friends. Oh, makes it all worth it, don't you think? Yes. She stares at the playful dolphin a moment longer. In the distance, the small plane swoops low over the water. She turns her attention towards the plane as Kyle and Toshi watch it with curiosity. That was weird. Maybe they spotted a whale. Back to work, you guys. As they shut the net, Kyle watches the plane ascend and disappear into the crystal clear sky. Without them knowing, several large plastic covered bundles float out of view. Exterior, Mexican Ocean, day. The dolphins splash and play as the well-worn clipper, the roving marauder, cuts through the water. Exterior, Avon, day. Kyle and his young and capable crew, Louise, Toshi, and Scott, thirties, lean, methodical, almost robotic, watch them frolic. Kyle looks back to his younger brother, Simon, 30s, serious, brightly handsome, a man's man. Kyle gives him a thumbs up. Exterior, Mexican Ocean, day. A Mexican fishing trawler circles the ravaged gillnet. Exterior, fishing trawler, day. The crew pulls the gillnet in. The authoritative captain, Miguel Ortega, 50s, looks at the damaged nets in disgust. Exterior, Mexican Ocean, day. A small pongo, with several plastic-covered bundles stacked near the seat, moves rapidly towards the trawler. Interior, Mexican office, day. Miguel looks across the desk to the back of a seat and the top of a man's head. More Americans. They've caused many problems. They shouldn't be out there looking for things they don't need to find. The handsome man, Alex Aguilar, 40s, impeccably dressed in his business attire, turns his seat slightly and taps his pencil on one of the armrests. Don't worry, there are no problems for me. The roving marauder is moored in the picturesque bay. Exterior, Mexican street, night. Kyle walks along the deserted sidewalk, carrying two bags of groceries. Two police officers come into view, startling him. One of the bags slips from his hands and hits the street. The eggs crack and break. As Kyle reaches to clean up the mess, one of the officers drops a small container onto the other bag. Hey, watch it. What have we here? The officer reaches into the bag and pulls out a container. What the hell? A cocaine vial. Kyle looks to the officers. It's not mine. Maybe somebody dropped it in there. A little bird, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Who did it? What for? You're an American. Drugs are bad. You're very stupid. They grab Kyle and throw him against the wall. He hits it with a thud. They roughly frisk and then cuff him. Interior, Kyle's jail cell, day. The dingy Mexican jail is dark. An officer directs Simon to a cell. He looks through the bars. Simon sees Kyle, bruised, emerging from the corner. Jesus, Kyle! Simon runs his hand through his hair before placing it on a bar. Why did you do it? You said you were off this stuff! In disbelief, Kyle looks at Simon. I am. <laughs> Simon snorts in disgust and then looks away. You don't believe me, do you? Simon looks squarely back to Kyle. You promised me you would stay clean. They planted it on me. Oh, come off it. This is Mexico. This kind of thing happens all the time. They want us out of here. They may not like what we're doing, but you can't use that as an excuse for your drug problem. I've had it with you. Simon storms out, leaving Kyle alone in despair. Interior, Kyle's jail cell, night. Standing outside the cell bars, Daniel Merriman, timeless age, unique, earthy, strong body, hair in a tie and barefoot, stares at Kyle's huddled form under the dirty blanket. I'm here. No response from Kyle. Kyle. Still nothing. Daniel makes a bizarre humming sound. Kyle awakens immediately. Mm How'd -hmm. you get in here? It doesn't matter. Are you okay? I'm glad you're here. I need to get a message to someone. He works for the LA Times. I think we need somebody down here. A reporter? Yes. He looks at Daniel. 
It'll be okay. What if they find out? They won't. You did. Daniel thinks for a moment, noting Kyle's bruises and newly swollen eye. I won't let you down. I know. Thanks, Daniel. No. Thank you. Silently, Daniel walks away from the cell. Kyle smiles at Daniel's bare feet.